And if you think we're nearing the end of the tech revolution, think again. The lines between the digital world and the real world are only going to get more blurred thanks to new technology by Google. Known as Google Glasses, they can display digital information on a lens in front of your right eye and provide audio into your left ear. Now tell us what this means for the business community. I'm joined now by Ben Bradshaw from Sponsored Links, who's in our Sky News Business Centre in Sydney. Ben, this looks like very cool technology. I've seen some of the uh, YouTube prototypes. Uh, sum it up for us. How does it work in practice? Well, basically, it's a way of, uh, like you mentioned earlier, it's a way of, uh, basically, it's Google's you know, aim is to merge the virtual environment with the physical environment, which is which is which is a world first, uh, as far as we see it. What this means to the business environment, we're yet to see, um, but um, it's 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 groundbreaking. It's using aug augmented reality sort of technology, and what that will do is display on the uh, in front of the eye there, and um, it's basically a way of interacting with our surroundings like we've never seen. So it's it's massive uh, as far as the potential is concerned. I'm really interested in what this means for. Apple and, and companies, or Samsung, companies who make smartphones, because the, the way that we assume we're going to interact with data in the future is through our smartphones. But what this is saying is, here's a whole new device where we could potentially uh, interact with that world. Do you see this eventually one day replacing phones? Uh, yeah, I do. I, I, see, I think this will completely change the way we interact with, uh, with the internet, basically, and the way we interact with our physical environments. Um, I mean, this technology is not... Uh, just, just popped out of nowhere. It has sort of been, uh, and Epson have been playing with it. I know uh, Apple uh, took out a patent in 2006 on a similar technology. But um, this, this technology is the future. It is sort of here to stay um, when, it, when it does come out. I mean, there is going to be developer ver versions coming out later this year. So we're going to see a massive uh, shift towards this technology. But in, in, the, in your original question, which was, are we going to sort of stop using our smartphones? It is an alternative way, I think, to access our smartphones. It's a different device uh, to access the cloud. So it's, what that means is, is yet to be seen, but it's, it is going to be profound when it does come out. Now, we're playing a, 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 some footage of the device in action. And let's drill into a bit of detail here as to how it works. So when you put these glasses on and, and you look at different things in the, in the environment around you, it, it displays information about those things from the internet. Exactly. And then Google's, Google's aim here is to provide you know, real information in live time, pretty much. So you can sort of interact with your environment, but access the internet. And, and it's really just bridging that gap, which is... Um, you know, it really is a revolution. It's, it's, I mean, is this going to be as big as a laptop or a, or a radio? It's yet to be seen how this is going to change our day-to-day -day lives, but certainly is, has the potential to massively change our business lives, our personal lives, people with disabilities um, that can't use their limbs or, or um, you know, et cetera, are really going to benefit from this sort of product. How far along are Google in actually making this reality? From, from what I can tell, it seems to be they've got a fancy video on YouTube, they've got a prototype set, but it's going to be some years away before we actually see uh, people wearing them in the street. What do you think? Well, what you've got to remember is Google have got a, an enormous pool of the brightest and best uh, people uh, working on this project. Uh, Co-founder Sergi Brin is, is, is sort of uh, right in there. So he's, he's certainly powering this project through. Um, you know, at the Google I.O. conference last Wednesday, he sort of stated that um, developer versions may be seen as late as uh, late this year, uh, sorry, as, as early as late this year and early uh, next year. So um, that's going to give uh, developers the ability to start developing apps and uh, things like that on this, uh, on this hardware. So it's really take it to the next level to see what is really, really possible with augmented reality. And, and you're saying as well that we need to develop some etiquette around uh, potentially wearing and using these glasses. What do you mean by that? Well, at the end of the day, I mean, obviously, being able to stream, one of the big things that was at the uh, Google I, I.O. conference was the ability to uh, record and stream information. So they had a, uh, a bunch of extreme sports people uh, bungee jumping and doing various things and uh, streaming it live to the conference. Now, obviously, that could pose a huge security risk to businesses um, as well. So. Um, as, as, but with all technology, we'll obviously bridge those gaps and, and, and sort of fill in the blanks. But yeah, it's obviously quite, quite huge. Now let's talk about the, the business uh, applications of this. I'm thinking here that Google makes its money through advertising. So of course you're going to start to see when you look at particular products or particular uh, advert or, uh, shop uh, front windows, you're going to start to see pop-up messages maybe on those glasses. Is this an opportunity for advertisers to again uh, make some money? 
Well, what you've got to remember is Google is very good at, um, they do focus on the user experience at the end of the day. And um, if you, in fact, if you go to the Google homepage, it is, it is completely blank of ads. Um, they're very, very careful on how they do display ads and do make sure it is in the user's interest. Um, I, I don't think we'll see ads on this initially. Uh, ads may come out later on down the track, but certainly when they do deliver ads, it will be for the user's benefit and not, uh, you know, because that, at the end of the day, if you look after the user, then uh, they keep coming back, and that's Google are very aware of that. Now, I understand there's a really cool story behind these glasses, Ben. In fact, the creator of them has been wandering around uh, the world, basically, with a whole set of very heavy goggles and, and different types of technology, trying to perfect this for many years, and has now got it down to this particular small form factor. How much do you think these are going to cost when they're finally released? Is that going to be prohibitive to the average user? Uh, not at all. I think this, this technology is very realistic. It's, um, you know, the, there's talks of it being about the, the, the price of a smartphone. So, um, you know, around $1,000 is, is, is a rough, very approximate guess. But, um, you know, people are going to want this. I mean, it gives you the ability to be almost like a superhuman being. So, um, you know, it, it really is an amazing technology. It, gives, it changes the way that we do interact with the world around us. And what that means is yet to be seen. But... It's uh, certainly on its way. Now, I read an article during the week about this uh, from a particular author saying he's not entirely convinced that people are going to be comfortable wearing these glasses. He pointed to another technology that looked cool when it came out, which were those um, scooters, uh, that Segways, of course, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Um, that came out some years ago. And, and people thought, well, everyone's going to use these. But they didn't actually use them. They, they gained a reputation of being a little bit on the tacky side. And he said Google are going to have the same challenges with these glasses. What do you think? Is this something customers well, are going to embrace or is it going to be a niche? I, I think people will embrace this. Um, you know, we, we very much, uh, you know, we've got that, that strong, uh, you know, eye kids coming through. Um, people who are really wanting to uh, embrace technology and, and even the late adopters of technology now, this, this technology is going to be very easy to use. So it's not like it's, it's going to have that placebo of being very, or the, the, uh, the sort of concept of being hard to use. Um, so that really is going to change the, the uh, adoption, I think. So I think this, this could really penetrate the market quite quickly. And Ben, just give us an update on the online advertising market. You're heavily involved in that space through sponsored links. What are some of the trends that you're seeing occurring now? Well, uh, we, we are still seeing fast growth at the end of the day. It's, um, as, as an economy... Uh, you know, it can struggle. We see to see people need more sales and leads, so uh, we do quite well in that economy. Um, online advertising and, and, and PPC in particular is very much return on investment focused. Um, it's all around um, you only pay when you actually get the click. So that type of advertising is absolutely uh, preferred in a, in a down economy. So uh, we're seeing it to be to be going leaps and bounds, and uh, as as is the whole the whole market, I believe. And what's your perspective on, on the, the uh, ructions around Facebook now as well? I understand that after they've listed, people are saying, well, it wasn't, wasn't a great listing, not great value for the stock. And in fact, people aren't making as much money in terms of advertising on Facebook as they thought. What's your perspective on this, given that you have those close ties with Google? Is that still the place to be? Well, you've got to try everything. What, you know, fish where the fish are at the end of the day. You know, if, if the fish are... There you go there. And, 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 you know, what we do know is if people are looking for a plumber in Sydney, they're usually going to use Google. Um, it, Facebook is a completely different advertising medium. It's a different way, of, you know, it's, it's more of a distraction type advertising and it's very much you've got to put an offer in front of somebody. So, um, you know, they do work and, and Facebook can work. But, um, you know, we certainly see Google still standing strong because it's user based. People uh, get what they want when they want it. And that's, um, you know, still, still true today. Okay, Ben, hopefully we'll get to see those glasses later this year and we'll get you on the show when we do. Thanks very much for coming on this morning. Thank you. Cheers. And that's all we have time for on this week's edition of Tech Report. I'm Nigel Freitas. Thanks for your company.